Well, 3DI, or the 3D Inefficiency Score, is a, a new way of measuring our environmental performance. It came about when our, when our regulator and the airlines asked us, can we be incentivised on our environmental performance? The metric in itself took two and a half years to develop, and it's a huge effort from Nats, and uh, I think a real success story. There are financial incentives, but there are penalties too. So on the plus side, we could win bonuses of up to £2.4 million, but the penalties could equate to £4.8 million. The metric works by comparing the vertical and horizontal trajectories of the aircraft as we control it through our airspace, comparing that with an optimal profile, which is what the airlines want to fly. So this is linked to the CESAR concept of the user-based trajectory. Nats controllers are already excellent at delivering extremely efficient tracks and profiles for the aircraft under their control. What this metric will do is bring into focus where we might be able to do even better than we do today. Actually, what we're trying to do in the longer term is deliver airspace structures and procedures and air traffic control tools that will help our controllers give better 3DI scores. And they'll do that through giving more continuous climb departures, the cruise levels that the aircraft want to cruise at, continuous descent approach, and, and more direct routes across the ground. So it's not really complicated, but we have put together a quick guide for controllers so they can understand how they might, in their day-to-day -day work, be able to influence the metric. We were first in the world to develop this, this metric and there's a lot of people watching us. In particular, we've got Fabec and the IAA all asking us whether they might be able to use 3D, 3DI in their calculations for the efficiency of their airspace. We've been reporting this metric on a daily basis to our units at Swanwick and Prestwick and uh, the operational managers there have been helping us try to understand well, how can they influence the metric on a day-by-day -day basis. In future, we want to see 3DI more widely reported, so we're working on ways of doing that. But in particular, at the moment, our airspace design teams are using 3DI to measure the different concepts that they're putting together for future airspace.